Bengals back on the practice field this afternoon. All right, Joe Burrow is still not out there. No, not out on the practice field, but sports anchor Caleb No said he had a sighting. He saw Joe Burrow in the locker room today, so that's something. Caleb joins us live from the Bengals facility. Caleb, anything more you can really say about Joe? I can tell you he was moving around a little bit. He was walking some in the locker room, no visible limp based on what I could tell. I can tell you what he was wearing. It was, it was certainly more of a chill workout style outfit as opposed to like something casual. It was a t-shirt with a hood on the back. He had high ankle basketball type shoes on. He did still have that black sleeve over his right calf, the same one we saw him wearing last Thursday, which was the last time we saw him out on the practice field. Again, Joe Burrow not out on the practice field today. That was just based on what I saw in the locker room. I saw him in the locker room, but he did not go through practice again with the Bengals. They're going to take it slow. I would not be shocked if the Bengals take it slow with their star quarterback, Joe Burrow, in terms of getting him back out there on the practice field. It was Jake Browning still repping with the first team offense today. Uh, an offense that still looked pretty good. A touchdown pass to Jamar Chase there, followed by a completion over the middle to T. Higgins. Zach Taylor, the head coach, was asked today if he's afraid of rust creeping into the offense without having their star quarterback, Joe Burrow, out there. Here is Zach, followed by part of my conversation with Jake Browning. You know, I haven't really seen much of that. You know, I think the guys have really kept things going in stride. Um, obviously, Joe's just on a different level across the league. Uh, but, but I think the two guys that have been getting reps there have done a nice job keeping us moving forward. What is the balance for you in terms of, I want to be myself here, but I also want to imitate what Joe would do. Which side of that do you want to try to follow on? I think on the operation side of things, I'm going to defer to what, I'm not going to make 10 people adjust to how I call plays in a huddle or how, uh, where I'm throwing ball location on certain plays. So on, on stuff like that, I'm definitely going to defer to how he does it. All right, Jake did say the other side of it is the personality side, and he said he feels comfortable with who he is, so he doesn't feel the need to try and totally be somebody else, try to be Joe Burrow out there. So that's the way Jake Browning is looking at this. Trevor Simeon, of course, is going to get some of those first-team reps as training camp continues here. Uh, an injury update or a medical update, I should say, on Bengals punter Drew Chrisman, of course, a Cincinnati native. He has not practiced with the team yet throughout training camp. He was out on the practice field today, though, and we spoke to him in the locker room after practice. The update he gave us is that he passed out last week uh, before a workout in the uh, in the weight room here. He said it was if, if, if it was going to happen, that was the place for it to happen because they were able to respond quickly. He was taken out on a stretcher, but he said all of his tests have come back positive. They've been good. So he's excited to get back out on the practice field and start going in full. He said hopefully that'll happen by next week. Here live outside the Bengals practice facility in Paycor Stadium, Caleb No, WCPO 9 Sports. All right.